Hey guitarists, this is Mike from Guitar Essentials, and in this lesson we're going to learn the intro riff to Metallica's Master of Puppets. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. This song is one of my all-time favorite songs. There's so many riffs in it. We're just going to do the intro in this lesson. And the way I break up the intro is into four parts. So the first part is this. All right, so what we're doing here is we're starting with an E5 power chord. And I'd recommend two different ways to play it. Where you hit the sixth string open, then the seventh fret on the fifth string, and then the ninth fret on the fourth string with the third finger. This power chord. But you could also use your fourth finger on the third string, ninth fret, like this. All right. Then followed by two note power chords. So D five, fifth and seventh fret. Fourth and sixth fret. That's C sharp five and then C5 on the third fret. So again. Once you get that down, go on to the second part. So part two is where we hit the sixth string open twice and then seventh fret on the fifth string. Then open six twice and then the sixth fret on the fifth string. Then open sixth string twice and then followed by your power chords. Just like in that first part. So the whole thing slow. And then faster. Then it goes to the sixth string. So it's open or zero. Zero, zero, seven, zero, zero, six, zero, zero, five. From there, it's single zeros, zero, four, zero, three, zero, two, and then one. So that whole thing again. So now that whole section. about that it's primarily chromatic if we eliminate all those opens and we just follow the line it's from the seventh fret if we just use single notes <laughs> goes down a fret at a time. I've seen people play it up here too where you go You can do it that way if you want. I just learned it the way I'm teaching it to you and that's the way I wanted to show it to you. So the next part is primarily in first position and it's what I call frets equal fingers. So your first finger gets the first fret, second finger gets the Second fret, third finger gets the third fret, and fourth finger gets the fourth fret, except when we're doing power chords. So this is the riff. And then it repeats. All right, so what we're doing here is zero one on the sixth string, then second fret on the fifth string, zero one on the sixth string, third fret, on the fifth string, zero one, fourth fret, zero one, third fret, zero one, two, hit it twice. So it follows that same scheme of two notes on the sixth string, one note on the fifth string. So again, slowly. Up 
speed. Okay, and then the next part of that is zero, one, two, zero, one, three, and then one, zero, so that's a little tricky, it reverses. And then you do a G5 power chord to an F sharp five power chord. So that's third fret on the sixth string and fifth fret on the fifth string. You pick it and then you slide down. And then in between that is an open six string. So it's. And then that's the end of that part. And then it repeats. So it's. Okay, so that now leads us to the fourth part of the intro, and I'll play it first. And then it repeats, all right? So it's the same scheme as the previous part with a slight change. So first it's zero, one, two. Zero one three, zero one four, zero one three, zero one two two. All right, so that's the same. Then it goes. So that's zero one two, zero one three, zero one four, zero one three. One zero and then a B5 power chord. Second fret on the fifth string, fourth fret on the fourth string. Okay, so I'll play up to there slowly. again. And then it does the last part. One zero. And then the. Okay. And then it repeats that whole sequence. So I'll go through that slow again. And you'll see a change at the end where we double that last part or turn around. Consider the fifth part, which is just a little filler where it's zero on the sixth string, seventh fret on the fifth string, eighth fret on the fourth string. All right, and you can use artificial harmonics where you hit the pick in the flesh of your thumb, so you get a chime like sound. Five of those. Right? And then it leads into the verse riff. All right. Leave a comment if you want me to do more lessons on the whole entire song. So what I'm going to do now is play the whole thing from the beginning. And what you'll see is I'm using all down picking, um, but you can alternate pick it if the down picking's too much. All right, James Hetfield does use downpicking for this whole, I think the whole song, which is pretty impressive. My 
down picking will wear out eventually if I did the whole song, I think. So I do use some alternate picking here and there in this song. <laughs> And now check out the close-up at a slower tempo so you can follow along. Here it goes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next lesson.